OK, so I've got another navigation task for you or map reading task. This one's very straightforward. And the question is, which of these climbs has the most height gain? So we're going up the direction of the arrow there. Is it A or is it B? So let's have a look. So this is A. So let's have a count of the contour lines on this as we go up the slope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we go up seven contours. We have a look at the second map extract. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we might say to ourselves, OK, this one, which is B, has got the most climb because it got the most contour lines. But that seems a bit too obvious, doesn't it? So let's have a think. What we're actually looking at are two different types of map. The first one is the Harvey Superwalker, 1 to 25,000. And in that one, the contours are in 15 metre vertical intervals. That means that the 15 metres difference. So if this one is 450, the next one up is 465. Extract B is the Ordnance Survey 1 to 25,000. Still the same scale, but on this one, the contours are in 10 metre vertical intervals. So it would be 450, 460, 470, 480, etc. as you go up the slope. So the answer is, well, this little box here shows you height ascended 99.99 metres, so 100 metres climb on that one. And guess what? It's exactly the same on the Harvey Super Walker map. So 99.99 to 100 metres climb. So the lesson on that is that depending on different types of map, the contours are in different vertical intervals. So it's worth checking when you look at the map what your contour vertical interval is. Um, before anyone asks any questions, I'm using Anquet or Anquet map software here. Um, really useful stuff. So I hope you didn't get caught out by that little um, question. Look out for more navigation tasks soon.